going on guys? Jack95 Gamer here and I'm back with episode 4 of my Atletico Madrid career mode. And guys, I just want to say a massive thank you. Even if it was only a little bit, but I really do appreciate the feedback on the last episode and I do take it all into account. And you know, a lot of you guys said you want to see Marco Reyes in that centre attacking midfield role, and that is what I plan to do. The only problem is when I did these, you know, I was really busy, so I did do a, a little chunk of episodes. So there's a few episodes where you won't be seeing the changes being made, but definitely by the time we get to the January transfer window, even before that, I will be testing Marco Reyes out in that centre attacking midfield role. The only problem is I need to get a new left midfielder. So guys, let me know of a quality left midfielder we can see come into the team. You know. Uh, that probably would make way for either Koke to leave or, unfortunately, new signing Thiago. So, that's going to be a massive, massive decision for me to make. But, you know, if Marco Reyes is as good as you guys say in centre attack in mid, I have to use him there, you know. So, I will give him a chance and it'll be interesting to see how he does. But as we go into the first game here, guys, if we could smash that like button on this episode for a new one at tomorrow, I'd really appreciate it. As we come so close to scoring there, unfortunately, we cannot find the back of the net. And also, if you're watching this video, and please do comment down below. I really do like seeing your opinions. And one opinion I want to see is, do you want to see the names above their heads, guys? So uh, it's easy to see what players are onto the ball instead of looking in the bottom corner. Let me know in the comment section down below. I'd really appreciate that. But anyway, as we get into the game here, Griezmann gets onto the ball. We've had a host of chances to score here at the Calajron. But uh, we get a header off there, but it is cleared away. We are playing, I believe, Ebla, I want to say that their name is. I'm going to butcher that name, I, I honestly am, ain't I? They're a team that are probably going to be lower mid-table, let's be honest. As they get onto the ball here, they cross it in to find Boateng, and he has just over the bar there, and that's the first real opportunity of goal. As we win the ball back, we would lose it as far as it did that, as who does find... I don't know if we can pronounce to say that name. He does find Neto with the shot, but unfortunately that was never testing the goalkeeper. And they had a strong end to the half there, this side. As they come onto the ball again with Didiak, he finds Berahon. It falls into him again. He gets the shot away, but unfortunately it does go uh, straight to defend. The good defender there from the lads. Thiago will get onto the ball now with 60 minutes left, half an hour to go. Marco Reyes, the man of subject in this episode, gets the crossing, gets cleared away, and unfortunately we miss out on that attack. Again, they will attack yet again, and they are looking like a really good side here. So they get the shot over to Di Morale, and that should be 1 0 to the tide there, but unfortunately they can't, and we hold on, uh, fortunately enough for us. As now they come on the attack yet again. Arabuno onto the ball, I want to say that is. Bavida, oh, I'm butchering these names, honestly. It ball comes in and again Moya is saving our skins. What a player this guy is. He's a fantastic goalkeeper in all honesty. As Carrero gets on the ball looking to make something work for us. He crosses all the way ball in or out at the byline and he puts it into Antoine Griezmann who does open up the scoring to make it 1-0 with just 18 minutes left to go in this game. It took us 72 minutes to break down this side and we do finally find the back of the net. Antoine Griezmann is taking all the applauds there. Uh, Angel Carrera changed the game in my opinion. He's come on in the centre attacking midfield ball. He's crossed it all the way in and he's just used his pace as an advantage and he's put into the back of the net here. What a player Angel Carrera is. Two goals in BBA already this um, season for Antoine Griezmann. He really is looking like a fantastic uh, player. We do move Griezmann into the right midfield role. We do make a couple of changes. Arkady does come on one notable change for us. Mandzukic onto the ball now does fantastically. The Croatian gets a shot. Well, gets an open here and he takes a shot at goal and he does double our lead to make it 2-0 just like that. And the Croatian has been on fantastic form. Uh, obviously, this is his debut season along with Antoine Griezmann. But they weren't my buyers, obviously. There was the, the previous manager's buyers, Diego Simeone's. But uh, they're buyers that I will stick with for them. You know, I, I said I want to make this team my own. And I do plan to do that. But I think... I don't know if Mandzukic is part of my plans for the future. I have to see how this season goes, really, for him. Because I will probably be looking to get in another striker for him. But... Antoine Griezmann is definitely a player that's in my plans. As we go through on goal here again with Antoine Griezmann, surely we're not going to get a third goal in a space of just 10 minutes here. And of course we do. Miro Arcadi does get the squared effort from Griezmann to find the back of the net. The Argentine is off the mark with his first goal for the club. And like I said, uh, we've got quite a lot of strikers at the team. I believe we have got Griezmann who can play striker. Obviously Royce can play striker, uh, like as you guys so kindly did point out to me. Um, we've got Akali that can play striker. We've got Manzukic that can play striker. Torres is here on loan. And we've got uh, uh, Raul Jim Jimenez, the Mexican striker. That's six strikers at the club. Obviously, Torres' um, loan deal will end as the game does finish. We do get major three points in this one. And we do get the first, well, not the first, the first one of the episode that we can get. So that's really good to see. But yeah, um, obviously, Torres is out on loan. So that means we've got five strikers. But I probably will be looking to move another striker on in the future. But. It just depends on who. Now, I could move Griezmann to left midfield, but he's made such an impact in that striker role. 
I'm not too sure I want to do that. You know, like I said, it's dilemma. So I probably will be looking in the transfer market. Uh, there's a few targets I want to get. Obviously, there is a couple of players on pre-contracts I will be looking to sign and hopefully get them in. As we go into trans transfer deadline day, I do go in for a deal for our, our ICs, Andalex, Chancel, and Bia, and Bima, and Bimba. And we look to get him into the club. 7.5 million euro offer, and hopefully he will accept that. Andalek do accept it when we go into personal terms. With 45 grand a week, we offer him a five-year deal and say he's going to be a squad rotation player. Again, it just brings in that cover at that centre-back role. You know, We don't really need full-backs anymore. We just need probably to get wingers in probably in January. We need a... I, I think we need to get a new DM in, in my opinion. I want to get a new centre defensive midfielder in, and we'll see how that one goes. As you can see, new sign arriving, he does come to the club, and we'll get to see him in the squad report at the end of this episode. As you can see, here's transfer deadline day. We spent quite a lot. Celtic Vigo haven't done anything. You know, Elche haven't done anything. Barcelona spent 24, 21 and 21 and a half million nearly. Uh, Getafe's done nothing. Granada's done nothing. Levante spent 9 million, got 8 million at. Uh, they've had quite a decent one. They've got the Swedish striker Bergen also, so that's an interesting one. Deepo Vito done nothing. Espanyol done nothing. Valenko have done nothing. Madrid has spent 40, uh, 71 million on Aguero and got rid of Modric for 49 million to Manchester City. That's a massive uh, that's a massive deal in this window. As you can see, the bigger deals are Aguero to Real Madrid, Modric to City, and obviously Jovetic to Arsenal. A, a target I was actually looking to get, and I might try and pursue in the January transfer window if I, if it will allow me, but we have to see. As you can see, the Liga BBVA, Rebecca Pompey, does come in, and she does say, I do win the manager of the month, which is really nice to see. And obviously, it's good to see that I'm being acknowledged for my hard work. And obviously, that Real Madrid win would probably uh, go towards me getting that award. So, it's good to see. But as you can see, Jimenez is on the bench. But we do have a Carly Carrera, Suarez and Co. on the bench. Campbell does start on right midfield. He's come back from his injury. And hopefully, he will be fit enough uh, to finish the game. Uh, it'll be interesting to see here. But we're at the Carlos Ron again against Sporting Lisbon in the Champions Cup. We're going to have a quick look at our group, which is going to be coming up in literally a couple of seconds, guys. I don't believe it's a difficult group, in my honest opinion. We've got the likes of Bayer Leverkusen, Sporting and Roma. You know, it's a tricky group. No, it's not obviously the easiest of groups, but it's a doable group where we can go through, in my honest opinion. And I think we're starting with the easiest team here in Sporting. Um, you could argue, you could say that they're better in Leverkusen. You know, they've got the likes of Nani, they've got uh, Slimani, Slimani, Carrero, uh, Silva, Carvalho, who we know is a fantastic player if you watch my Queen's Park Rangers career mode. As you can see, they would get the first attack on the game here. Carvalho does find Silva. Silva finds Jay Mar Jao Marrero, and Carrello gets his shot away, but unfortunately goes way over the bar there. Quarter now gone here at the, uh, the Caledron, and we do go on the attack here with Antoine Griezmann, who does play the favour back into Joel Campbell, and that should be 1 0 there. What the hell was that? You could argue he's still a little bit injured, he's still got that knock, but you should be putting the team 1 0 up there, Joel. What the hell was that? As they come on the attack again, Sporting, forced to Slimani, but it's a really good save there from Moya in net to prevent him from opening up the scoring for the Portuguese side. But now Antoine Griezmann will get onto the ball here, looking to make something work. Antoine Griezmann, fantastic play from the Frenchman, looking to make an opening, completely dodges all the challenges. Antoine Griezmann, that is a incredible finish from the Frenchman that is you, you just don't get no better than that Antoine Griezmann has blown this the, the lid of this stadium you know the atmosphere is a little bit tense you know first Champions Cup game we want to make a great imp uh, impression on the side and on the fans and we've done it there Antoine Griezmann completely formed the whole defence to find the back of the net there no chance for the goalkeeper and uh, yeah we do go 1-0 up there and that's his first goal of the Champions Cup really good to see that Antoine Griezmann is off the mark and as you can see, I'm actually quite noticing that Marco Ross is not in a lot of highlights, guys. So maybe it would be a good call. You know, we spent quite a lot of money on him. It maybe it would be a good call to put him in that centre attacking midfielder role for the for the future. As so we're going to attack here, Griezmann does get actually played in by Royce. And oh, here he is, Marco Royce onto the ball, gets his shot away. Great save there from the goalkeeper, also to deny the German getting his first goal for the club. As you can see here, uh, Sporting would not uh, stop um, attacking. They get the, sh the header away, but again, it's over the bar there. Missed opportunities again for Sporting Lisbon. They're going to be Rudy's chances. They're making loads of openings but cannot find the back of net as Nani gets onto the ball here. The former ma the man online from Manchester United does find Martins Indy. It falls to Silva and oh my word. Did I say Martins Indy? Why the hell did I say Martins Indy? But as you can see, they find the back of net. I believe it's Adrian Silva and he does, yeah, he's Adrian Silva. He does get at, um, Sporting back on terms with us here. 1 1. With 20 minutes left to go in this game, we do find Mario Suarez onto the ball. Suarez does brilliantly. He's come back from injury also. Gets his shot away and he just drags it past the post there. Uh, that's a missed opportunity. As we do bring on Angel Carrera for Joel Campbell now. Give him a little bit of break. Koke does move out into the right midfield role career in the centre attacking midfield role. As we get ahead of the way, it's blocked only as far as Gabby. The captain lines up the shot and it just goes wide on the mark there. Unlucky for Gabby not to find the back of the net. And uh, that would be how the game finishes, I do believe. It is all honours even shed in the first group game of the Champions Cup between us and Sporting. And uh, that's definitely a foundation to build on and our group success, you know. Uh, 
It could have been worse. It could have been a lot worse. But I'm happy with the draw. And hopefully we can push on now. As you can see, they dominate the game. But we were lucky to hold on for the 1-1 draw. As you can see, Moya again picks up man and match. Uh, it's something we've seen quite a lot at this season. So what a player he is. Anyway, guys, that is going to bring an end to this episode. I'm going to leave you guys looking at the squad report. If you did enjoy the video, as always, make sure to do hit a massive thumbs up if you did enjoy the video. If you didn't, guys, then I will be... Um, I'll make sure, make sure you let me know if you didn't enjoy the episode and I'll make sure I'll make it a lot better and rectify my wrongs because I want to hear feedback from you guys. If you're new around here, you haven't already knew, I like what you've seen, make sure you do hit that subscribe button guys, I really do appreciate it. And comment down below for any suggestions you have on the series, like I said, I love reading your guys' comments. As always, have a really nice day guys. Uh, Ultimate Team video will be out later tonight, uh, hopefully if I can get um, edited in time, it is going to be a past versus present. As always guys, have a really nice day and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace!